What is up everyone? Luke here and time for another Tutorial Tuesday video. This time we're doing the handspring, landing two different ways, landing two feet and then landing one foot followed by the other so we can go into a combo. Um, and obviously I'll break down step by step how to do both of those but the concept for both of them is pretty much exactly the same. So if you've seen my aerial tutorial um, you would have seen that obviously you kick one leg so if you cartwheel to the left you're going to be kicking your right leg up to the aerial and you're going to be doing exactly the same thing in the handspring you'll be kicking your right leg up if you aerial the opposite way and you kick your left leg then obviously you'll be kicking your left leg up okay so you want to start with both feet together and i'd recommend just taking a short run or a few steps into this um, and if you know how to do a, a round off which is with a hurdle step so you go two steps on one leg followed by the last step on the other so it goes like this if you can do a hurdle, perfect, start off with that. Don't go running into it full speed um, because you won't have the, the familiarization with the move and how to take off properly. So start off nice and slow and then build it up, okay? But start off with a hurdle and basically as your left foot comes down, plants firmly, you want to kick your right leg up as hard as you can, kicking your heel all the way over your head, but not curling your leg up. You want to keep your leg nice and straight, okay? As you're kicking your right leg up, you want to put your hands down. So kind of like a teeter-totter. As one side goes up, the other side goes down. So you want to just practice this drill. For now. So you can probably see, um, I'm not actually even jumping off my left leg. It's just coming up. The force of my leg going up and my hands going down is causing my left leg to come up. So that's the very first step. The second step, what you want to do is practice the teeter totter drill and then go up into handstand. Um, if you can do a handstand, that's perfect. Just kick up and get into that handstand position for now. Step three, so you want to get into the handstand position, but make sure your legs are dead straight this time. But you get the point. Um, this ground's going down here, so it's actually kind of hard to hold a handstand upright. So make sure you find flat ground when practicing this, otherwise you will just end up walking like I did. But you get the gist. Step four, now it's time to actually just go for the thing itself. It's not too scary. Um, and if you can already do a front flip, or you can already do a web star, or an aerial, or anything like that, it's pretty much the same, just with your hands down. So, once you get to the handstand position, um, obviously driving your leg up, your back leg as hard as you can, you want to keep your shoulders not dead straight, but you don't want them bent like this, like a press up. Because if you push from there, you're wasting so much energy pushing up. And obviously if you're from here, you can't really push much. So you want to have your elbows bent slightly, just like this. So when you get into the handstand position, keep looking at the floor. Don't lift your head up and try and look forwards. Keep looking at the floor. As you get into the vertical position, ping over as your legs are driving over and everything will just happen naturally and you'll literally just come over like that. When you first start off, you might have a tendency to tuck your head in um, and when you tuck your head in, your spine will curve, which means you'll end up landing something like that. So keep practicing with it. You can get a few mats to go down or you can just try it on a soft surface, try it in a gym. Um, equally, if you want to learn this with a partner, what you can do, um, imagine they're in front of me now, so they're right here, they're about to go into their handspring. I'm going to have my right hand on their sort of shin area and my left hand on their back because obviously they're going to be upside down. So I'm going to help throw them round when they actually go for the handspring. But apart from that, um, it's pretty easy. I'll show you a few now and just go over some common errors. So that's a two-footed landing covered. Obviously, as you ping off, you just want to find the floor uh, with both feet, the balls of your feet. With the one-footed one, what you want to do is keep driving your right leg. So in the two-footed one, what you do, you drive your right leg, and then as you get to vertical, your other leg would snap up and meet it halfway. In this one, you want to do the same thing, but you want to drive your leg, um, your back leg, slightly harder the whole way through. So you land on that leg, and then you can come out leaning forwards like that and stepping. I'll show you a few of those. Huh?
So take a look at the Slomos, um, watch all the things that are spoke to you about um, obviously the next steps from there once you've got your handspring either variation the two-footed one you can go into punch tricks so you can do for example um, handspring land punch into a front flip or the split step one so you land on one foot first you can do that into a cartwheel into a round off into anything and then into a power trick for example um, main points to watch out for and common errors when you get up into the vertical position so you're in the handstand people either lift their head up like that or tuck their head in if you tuck your head in your spine curves and if you lift your head up your spine arches um, but not in a right way so you want to keep your head relatively neutral the whole way um, looking at the floor as you get that push off your spine will naturally curve over and your feet will find the floor um, other common errors is bending your legs um, having your arms too bent or too straight so you don't get enough push um, and I know you guys probably think oh yours isn't perfect no one's tricks will ever be perfect so when you're watching my tutorials and I don't do something perfect it's because no one's perfect um, and I'm constantly developing my tricks but at least I know how to do it how to do it properly so I can try and help you guys but that is it for this week's tutorial um, if you have any questions, obviously, as always, leave them in the comment box below or drop me a suggestion for next week's tutorial. Apart from that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to Spile Free Runs YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, follow PKFR World. I'm not wearing a t-shirt today, again, because I'm in Turkey still and it's incredibly hot and I'll pass out, but follow those guys, otherwise you will get punished. See you next week for whatever tutorial I decide to be placed.